Hello everybody, this is Barley the Thing and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode we caught Cresselia and in today's episode we're going to be taking on Barry. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey Barley, you aren't the only one getting tougher. I'll prove it to you, let's go. So yeah, this is our final battle against Barry. He's been with us since the beginning. We battled him with Piplup, well with Nero as a Piplup and with his uh, Turtwig I think it was, yeah. So yeah. We're going against him for the final time, and his first Pokemon is Staraptor, and mine is Plaz. Because I knew he was going to go for Staraptor first. So his Staraptor is actually faster than Plaz, which is not surprising, because Plaz isn't particularly uh, speedy. Anyway, let's go for Thunderbolt, and let's do some real damage to this Staraptor. Should take it out in one hit, and it does. Great. Okay, his next Pokemon is Torterra. Um, best bet to go for is Inferno here, I suppose. Actually, Manny would have been better, but oh well. And let's go for Fire Blast. Because this thing is quite powerful. And hopefully, uh, Fire Blast will take it out. Fire Blast is incredibly powerful. Okay, it's not quite enough to take it out. And he gets quite a bit back with the Citrus Berry. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. That's probably going to kill Inferno. She can just hold on a bit. Oh, she can't do it. Well, you good effort, Inferno. You did well. I just have to send out Manny now. Well, at least this way everyone's going to get a bit of action. Or well, hopefully anyway. In fact, yeah, everyone should get a bit of action from this battle. I don't know. We'll soon see. <laughs> I can't remember what other Pokemon he has, to be honest. We're trying to, we're probably going to mix it up rather than going for um, <clears throat> plain old type effectiveness. But anyway, his next Pokemon is Floatzel. So I'm probably going to use... Night. I'll go with Night. I'm going to save Spooks for Snorlax when he comes out. Okay, so Float Tool's out now. And could go for Poison Fang, but I think we Fly would be a better bet. So let's go for that. Okay, let's see how much that's going to do. Okay, did about half. That's not too bad. And you have Ice Fang. That's not good. But I don't think that will kill us because it's not Stab. And you're only like a level behind us. So it's not going to be too bad. So let's go for another Fly. Yeah, unfortunately we're actually all nearing the end of this uh, Platinum LP. We've only got a couple more episodes left to go really. So not long at all now. Which is a bit sad because I quite like this game. Okay, Snorlax is up next. And let's go for Spooks. Right, -o. okay. I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb on this guy. Try and poison it. Okay, that's not too bad. And I should have really put that to sleep beforehand. I'm worried you have sleep talk though. I don't think you do that. Oh man. Whoa, Jesus. Hypnosis, hypnosis. No! Damn it. Okay. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh well. Um. Suppose go at Manny. Because Manny's quite a hard hitting guy. And let's go for E quick. See how much that will do. It does quite a bit more than Sludge Bomb, but it doesn't. Still doesn't quite take it out. And our Body Slam won't. Uh, don't know. Okay, now you parallel. Okay, this is not going well. Um, let's just finish it off and take. Damn it, Barry. Snorlax has way too much defense. <laughs> it's so difficult. I really want to use a Snorlax though. I am desperate to use a Snorlax. Uh, let's just go for another earthquake now. Oh come on, body slam! It's gonna kill me. 
or not, great. Okay, I think that will take down Snorlax, this earthquake. I think. It probably... Oh, no, it won't. Ignore me, it won't. It won't take it down unless we get a crit. Which would be nice, but no dice, I'm afraid. Oh, whoa, jeez, what? Heracross, okay, that's fine. I'll use Ice Beam. I didn't predict that, but okay, still not super effective regardless, so he's going to kill us. Unless we do this and switch out and go into Night. Because we're going to predict that he's going to... Oh, whoa, he's predicting my predict here. Whoa, okay, there's a lot of switching. Okay, let's switch back out into bloody Nero. Jeez, that was a weird switching fanatic there. Okay, sunny day. I don't know if he was predicting anything there. I should have thought he was, because I don't think the AI is that good in this game. But let's go for Surf. Oh, Willow Whistle, that was quiet. But anyway, let's just uh, Surf this thing. And take it down. Does Burn's damage get increased in in the fire? Oh crap, no. Come on, man. Don't die, Elmas. Don't die. Come on, Nero. Stay alive! Okay, there we go. We take down Rapidash. That's good. Okay, who's he sending out next? My guess is it's going to be Heracross. Yep, it is. Okay. And let's go out into Night. And let's fly. And take down this Heracross in, the, in one hit. Okay. Oh, seriously. Come on, Daddy, don't die on us, don't die. Oh my god, what is going on here? Okay, sunlight faded, that's great. Balls, what do we do now? We've not got many options left, I don't think I have any revives. I don't have any revives, damn it! Okay, let's just T bolt this thing. That's the only thing we can do. Okay, that still does a good amount of damage. Night Slash, seriously, why do you have so many Dark Type moves? Such a fix. Oh, Plaz, come on, man. Let's go for another Thunderbolt. Come on, come on take it out, take it out. Yes, okay, good on you. Good on you, Plaz. Legend. Okay, now, his final Pokemon is Snorlax. I'm worried about this thing. I don't know if it's faster than us. I shouldn't have thought it is, but I don't want to take the risk. So I'm going to go for a hyper potion. Okay, so let's just speed that up. Oh, I knew he was going to. Do Damn it, why would you do such a thing, you dickhead? In which case, while you're doing that, I'm going to. Do I have a full heal? I do, yeah. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'm going to full heal Manny. Speed this up. So yeah, unfortunately Plaz is probably going to die here. Not ideal, but that's going to have to be the case, I'm afraid. That's not going to fully heal us, but that'll have to do. So I'm sorry Plaz, you did well. Oh, Jesus, man. Okay, well, at least we're faster than Snorlax. Come on. Okay, that did a good amount of damage, that's fine. Snorlax can go for that. That won't kill us. I mean, it does paralyze us, which is not good. Because now he's... Oh my god, why would you do that? Jeez, man, this Snorlax is irritating. Come on, buddy. 
Come on. Okay, I didn't do as much damage as last time. But now that you're asleep, I think we have a we have a while you're asleep, it's our best shot and you still paralyze. Come on, buddy. Come on, while you're still asleep, we can take this thing out. Come on, come on, come on, no! No, no, you... Why would you do that? Seriously, why would you do that? My God! This Snorlax is such a troll! Right, you know what? Um... Oh, shit. What am I doing? I kind of control the keypads here. Right, full heal. Okay, now we can just go for it. Wait, oh, for bloody hell's sake, come on. Now, let's just go, come on. Let's take this to Snorlax out, because I'm getting really annoyed with it. Now, come on. We're still asleep, that's good. Now, let's just earthquake this thing to death. Hopefully, we've killed it now. Because I'm getting really sick of this Snorlax, blimey. There we go, finally. Took down Snorlax, Jesus. And we defeated Barry. What just went down, you're telling me I lost again? It's alright though, keep getting tougher, Barley. The more you do, the tougher my Pokemon and I get too. There's no end to Pokemon, that's what I'm saying, Barley. Whew. I was going to say that's the end of this episode, but we actually have more stuff to do. So I'll see you guys in a second once I've sorted everything out. Okay, so we're back. And we have an empty slot in our party. Because we're going to be getting uh, a Pokemon egg today. So if we head in here and talk to this guy. Good day, you must be Barley. I've received a gift for you. Here you go. Okay, that's the secret key. That's for later on. Oh, okay. It looks like we're doing the secret key event first then, so <laughs> whatever, let's fly to Eterno, I think it is. Where is Eterno? There it is. Because we need to be changing Plaz's form, which is what you can do in here, which is pretty awesome to be fair. I mean, I like this. I need to go grab Mule quickly, because Mule nose cut. At least it used to, I don't know if it still does. Okay, you don't know cut, damn it. Uh, who can learn cut? Oh, you can, please. Righto. And uh, let's quickly teach cut to you. Okay, there we go, blades. I'll uh, get rid of focus energy for it. Now let's head in and change Rotom's form. I would like to cut it, yes. Okay, so it should be just here. Barley used the secret key. And this place opens. So let's head indoors. We've got these three, uh, sorry, five electrical appliances. One for each of Rotom's forms. So you've got uh, heat form, fan form, uh, frost form, wash form, and mo form. So let's just transform some shit. Yes, Plaz into the motor, and Plaz wants to learn overheat now. So um, we're going to get rid of ominous wind because we never use it. Okay, so Plaz is now now knows overheat, which is good. Oh, it's Professor Ryan. What's going on here? Ah, imagine finding you here. You must be eager to fill your Pokedex to be searching even here. What am I doing? I visit a professor I know in Eternus every so often. He tells me intriguing rumours of rare Pokemon sightings and such. A Pokemon that slips into electric appliances, you say? Hmm, that is somewhat off from what I've heard about it. Hmm, this is what I've heard. Long ago, there was a Pokemon that merged with a toy robot. Should that Pokemon be recognised as a new species or not? Debates over the issue were about to start when they were rendered moot. The very topic of discussion, the Pokemon-infused robots disappeared. Anyway, this Rotom, what's an interesting Pokemon? So you say it enters, with the, enters an appliance, essentially merges with the device. 
In the process, it may also learn new moves. In a way, I suppose it could be taught off, thought of as a mechanical Pokemon. Hmm. Though it is utterly unique, it is undeniably a form of Pokemon. Fine, fine, so be it. No matter how, how old one gets, there will always be new Pokemon discoveries. Take care, Barley. Okay, well, let's check out Rotom. So yeah, this is its heat form. And it is fainted, but that's not the point. So as you can see, it knows overheat now, which is cool. So yeah, in Generation 5, they actually... Um, change their typings yeah so what happens is uh, the fan if it turns transforms into heat form it will turn into an electric and fire type if it goes into fan form it will become electric and flying frost form it will become electric and ice water will be electric and water and the mo one will be um, electric and grass so here's plaza in fan form be yeah, in and it learns air slash which is cool but yeah, it doesn't actually learn anything else, which is not, if, uh, sorry, it doesn't actually change its type in Generation 4. So let's just... But yeah, once you choose the move you want to delete for the first type, for the first time, so say like, so like I chose to get rid of Ominous Wind for Overheat, it will always uh, get rid of Overheat or whatever and replace it with the move it would learn when it enters that form, if that made any sense at all. <laughs> I don't think that did, but there's uh, Frost Rotom right there. This is Washing Machine Wash Rotom. And it should learn Hydro Pump. Yep, Hydro Pump down there. And finally there's Mo Rotom. And there we go. So Mo, Ro Mo Rotom is learns Leaf Storm. And we're actually going to be keeping Plaz as Mo Rotom. So there we go. We have uh, Mo Rotom with us now, and that's how he's going to stay until the end of the series. So, I'll be with you guys in just a second, because we have to sort more things out, like the egg. So, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we don't actually have an empty slot in our party, I just realised that, so let's speed round here. Right then, so we're here in the Pokemon Mart place, and let's go in and talk to this guy. Oh, not you. Go away. Good day, you must be Barley. I've received the gift for you. Here you go. So we get the Manaphy Egg, which you actually get from Pokemon Ranger. Uh, I think it's the first one, yeah. I think you can get it from the second one, but it's harder to get from the second one. Because they had to be like downloadable missions you could only get from a certain period of time. Whereas the one in the first Ranger game, you could just get it whenever, so... So as you can see, this egg is actually like, have a, has a different design to uh, most other eggs, which is a bit weird, but you know it's a legendary Pokémon, I suppose. So I'm going to run around with this egg for a bit, and I'll be with you when it hatches. Oh, there we go. Here we go, Manaphy hatched from the egg, yay! Okay, I will not be nicknaming Manaphy. Oh, wait, let's just head up where I don't start falling. And let's check out Manaphy quickly. Oh, oh Manaphy. Okay, so it's number 490. Pokemon Ranger, egg arrives July 6th, 2013. Somewhat vain, hydration. Tail glow, bubble, and water spot. What does tail glow do? Oh, okay. Okay, so it's not too bad, actually. I mean, I'm never going to use it, obviously, because it's just... You can't really use legendaries in a Let's Play, can you? But, you know, all the same. It's good enough. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode, when we'll catch the uh, three event Pokemon, which are uh, Darkrai, Shaman, and Arceus. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode.